Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And today, as you can see, I forgot to jump last episode because I got a little bit annoyed. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Uh, I keep forgetting to jump. And today we're jumping and as you can see we're jumping with the freighter again because it is a little bit, it jumps a little bit further away. And uh, I've decided to do this because I want to reach the next galaxy uh, soon. Hello, that, that's a bug. That's a bug. Uh, the next galaxy well, soon-ish. Now even with the freighter's jump distance it will still take somewhere around 20 to 30-ish jumps to actually reach the center of the galaxy uh, because even though distance the jumps is kind of big it is you know not so big that uh, it's gonna just take like one jump. But today as I said I have an itch that needs scratching so let's find a you know, thank you, uh, derelict freighter. So, for those of you that uh, don't know, uh, the reason I want to do two derelict freighters now is, first of all, that kind of find them fun uh, for the moment, and uh, second of all, I do want to find the uh, blueprints that they have on them. Now, there are coordinates to locations that people have posted that where you can guarantee where you're guaranteed to find those blueprints, but I haven't gone to them yet. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if I will be, uh, because first of all, I believe most of them are on in Euclid, which we are definitely not in. Actually, let me let me get some life jelly on me. Uh, so this system is specifically a Corvac system because we need. Let me actually bring up that menu. Uh, we need specifically. Oh, how many missions did I pick up? Oh, right, that's the Darbo Freighter. Uh, I keep forgetting to take that photo. Uh, we need Corvac standing. So this is a Corvac system, so afterwards we're just going to, you know, just uh, give them the stuff, give them the logs. Uh, I have transferred the log I have into the ship, so it doesn't bother us. And let's actually turn on the lights. I keep forgetting that it's on 1 instead of L. Been playing a lot of Imperium recently, and the, the light there, the torch there is on L. Let's collect the emergency supplies, even though uh, I, I, I don't use the ammo, really. I just mostly destroy it because I have way too much. At the moment, we really do have way too much. Like, look at this. This is with the extra ammo. And I'll end up using, like... Hello. That shouldn't happen because... Did I do that? No, I didn't... What? Well, whatever. Uh... Uh, that, not the mining beam, please. Okay, this ship is very dark. Um, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of been, uh... Okay, have they, was there a patch that I didn't notice? There must have been. Or maybe this is just one of those random rooms. <laughs> first of all, it had nothing in it, first of all. Second of all, it was way too dark. Gave me a, a little bit of chills down the spine there for a second. Now, I don't, I do want to fight that because it just gives off on a very, very... Wait a minute. That's new. Automated security. These don't care. Okay, they take a lot of hits. Like a lot, a lot. But, the good news is, if I aggro one of them, I don't need to aggro all of them. So, awesome. And there's a lot of them. Okay, I've never seen this room. Again, you know, random generation. These just died one hit. Again, random generation. Uh, this can be moved. That just makes an annoying noise, and that's why I want to get rid of them, because the noise is just annoying. Okay, you didn't? Did I miss? I missed twice, didn't I? There's like, wow, three of them. I could technically maze through that and I should I'd probably be fine, but... Okay, that is the dead end, right? That's the dead end, I'm pretty sure. Now let's actually go to this terminal. I know I didn't read the other uh, tablet there. Uh, company charter detail encrypted, crew manifest accessible. Now we're not going to read through the crew manifest because it's just basically what it's what it is, you know, crew manifest, and it's going to tell us who the people were. And when we update the bioscan, it's going to tell us that there's nobody on board the ship, uh, no detected biological traces, of course, and it's going to tell us the last known 
crew locations, including the captain who is always in a redacted area or unknown. And we have the crew manifest. That is all we really needed from there, which is just to trade it in for uh, reputation mostly. Now, most people would trade it in for money, of course, you know, if you're starting off like right now. Uh, I would trade it in for money if I was starting off right now. Reputation is not that important. I'm just doing it for the... I would have said bragging rights, but... Uh, who am I going to brag to? Hmm? Uh, none of my friends play... Actually, none of my friends play video games. I, well, I have, like, no friends, so that's, you know, understandable. Anyway, uh, No Man's Sky. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. It's like, today, like, I'll be honest, you know, I'll be honest, I do have a couple of friends, like, close friends, like, the ones that, you know, I would call up to, you know, just have some fun or whatever, and you wonder why I hate these. Uh, like, there aren't that many. That thing has really a lot of health. And, uh, did I loot that? No, I did not. Okay. But, you know, I wouldn't call anybody, everybody, you know, my friend who I meet. Um, okay, let's read this quickly. Ship AI log decrypted. Location tracking report for guard Urdnak. Oh, sorry, it's Urondark. Why did I read Urdnak? I don't know. Personal bio scan last detected 14 days ago and gunnery controlled three others present. Biometric readout indicates entity fused to nearby surface. Okay, no further life signs. Well, of course. And we have the credentials, which is exactly what we need. Uh, but, you know, recently I've been, uh, uh, been playing... From time to time, you know, when I have like a spare like 20 minutes, which is rare. Uh, because normally I have actually said this before. Okay, so if I do that, it just activates the security system. Okay, that's interesting. This thing doesn't do any damage. Wow. Uh, okay. So recently I've been playing uh, a lot of Killing Floor. I have mentioned the, the game before, like a very long time ago, that I used to play the first the first one. Uh, but, you know, it's... I kind of really don't have anybody who I would call up to, you know, be like, you know, you want to play this game. It doesn't matter which game it is. You know. I kind of just don't have anybody. Most of my friends just don't play video games. Well, actually, that's a lie. One of them uh, plays like, what is it, Candy... something like Candy Crush. Not exactly Candy Crush, but something like Candy Crush or whatever. Uh, yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> I believe he plays it like once in a blue moon, so yeah. My wife doesn't. My wife that no, 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 English, please, English. Stick to English. Uh, my wife doesn't uh, actually play any video games. Uh, I actually tried to teach her, like five years ago. Uh, Comrade General Hand contained to the break for curfew breach, first offense, sentence length seventy eight days. How is that a first offense for a curfew breach? Wow. Ooh. What are you? Um, yeah, I tried to teach her, like, I don't know, it was like five years ago, five, six years ago. And, you know, I was like, you know, this is my hobby, you know. Uh, and I want her to enjoy it with me, or at least more along the lines the other way around, to me, for me to enjoy my hobby with her. So, uh, initially I started, you know, because... No, I actually wasn't playing World of Warcraft back then. Hello! Why are you shooting me? I wasn't, but I was like, you know, I'm willing to, you know, take take the sacrifice, you know, start over or whatever, you know, if she gets into it. Because it's it's a forgiving game early on. Well, at least that's what I figured. Uh, uh, turns out, no. Uh, not so much. Not, not for somebody who's never played a uh, game, so. Hello, just shoot like a madman and everything goes away. Yeah, turns out no. I like we tried for a couple of days for like half an hour every day, but uh, in the end, I was just in, no, no. <laughs> she just couldn't. She just couldn't figure out. Like, uh, you know, she got to like what was it? Level we were leveling together, of course. Got to like level fifteen, twenty-ish around there, which is of course you know just to start. But after what was it two or three days, maybe four? I, I don't really remember how how long it was, but it was a couple of days at most. And, uh, basically I got sort of mad because, you know, it's taken her for like four days and she still hasn't learned to read a map. Uh, which was, you know, like, I mean, it, it's a map, you know, 
I didn't get mad that she didn't use her skills properly or whatever and whatnot. You know, I understand that. You know, it's not intuitive, especially if you've never played a video game. But uh, I mean, reading a map, everybody should be able to do that. I mean, ah, uh, was like go north, and she was like, which way is north? And I really got annoyed at that. Of course, that's pretty usual. You know, so you know you you last. You know you're like you know, trying to be calm, but after a couple of days, when when you find out that nothing is sinking in, you're like, nope. Oh, hello, inventory's full. Why did I get so much that my inventory is full? Of course. Oh wow, eleven of these lovely puppies. Unstable plasma can just go away. That's that's not really gonna be something. That you, hello, spark canisters. Have I ever seen those? Pretty sure I have. It's probably gonna fill up my inventory again. Uh, it's something, yeah, something to go to cargo. Uh, like enough of G's. Oh, hello. There's no room for them. Uh, I should. I forgot to transfer the stuff. Oops. That was kind of my fault. But yeah, you know that's basically what happened. And after after that, I haven't like even asked her if she even wants to try anything. Uh, like I even tried. I think it was before World of Warcraft though, for both of us to play Trine. Like, if anybody remembers trying, it's actually a nice experience, but I didn't have anybody to play it with, of course. Yeah. Partial quick equipment record follows. Comrade something. Specialism waveform analysis. Personal locker contains sleep aids, drill bits, Y, circuit breakers, and various archived holograms. Last accessed yesterday. Detailed scan reveals microbe colonies consuming locker content. Okay, that's, uh, sounds nasty. Sounds very nasty, actually. We don't have a thingy active, shield active. Did did we do this? We didn't do this. Of course we didn't do this. I forgot about it. Okay, this is the captain's thing, so it's gonna be just, you know, captain's DNA required. It's gonna want us to... I am gonna say that he has been deceased this time around. Input accepted, log will record captain as fate is extended. Oh, no, wait, we did say deceased last time. All right, so tomorrow I need to remember to actually say incapacitated. Uh, to see what happens. Duty officer may take... I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the same thing. And we're going to log in as ranking biologist low. Or IO something. Uh, log will record you as temporary commander. And we want to read the captain's log. Uh, data stamp. Yep. All communications with the Blade of Herc has been terminated. Okay, so this is a Viking ship, but we're in a Corvax system. Uh, has been terminated. It will be as if we never exist. Okay, so I've actually read this before. If anybody actually does remember it, I have read this before. Data stamp, Gra, still there, uh, virus spreads, deck upon deck has been purged. I pray it will be enough. Uh, the crew think we are going home. They don't know what awaits us. How can I tell my brethren? What would I say? It would lead to mutiny or worse. Uh, I put an officer to death just a few moments ago. I dealt the final blow myself. We do not run and hide from what we have made. We are Viking, or were once. Now we, now we just wait. Uh, yes, I have read this before. Uh, so it looks like the text is uh, it is randomly generated, but uh, as in it draws from a specific pool. Did I read these? No, I have not. Surprisingly, data extraction from medical bay logs. Partial report follows. Uh, Viking at arms. Hmm? Presented with low blood oxygen, recommendation removed from duty until cured, case number 56, chance of recovery 81%. Okay. Uh, so I was, I was definitely here, I, I remember being here, but I guess I didn't read these. We haven't gotten a single blueprint yet. Accessed, uh, personal data recording access for uh, technician... Okay, no. Uh, Auto-transcribing audio. They can't get in. I've made sure of it in my dreams. I see it when I close my eyes. I... It was hardly them anymore. Re recording ends. So yeah, basically, uh, what I was trying to say uh, for the whole thing is that sometimes, you know, it's kind of nice when you just have a real-life friend that can play a video game with you. That's basically what I was, you know, talking about. Um, I don't know, it's kind of... Kind of never done it, so... Meh. Okay, we're going that way. Like seriously, like most, like none of my friends, none of the people that I knew play video games. Like there was this one guy who I met at work, where uh, we sort of 
uh, sort of uh, like he wasn't a pretty cool guy. Uh, like we sort of you know we're still like acquaintances. We still keep in touch in touch from time to time. And he plays video games, but his playing of video games is Need for Speed. That's it. That's it. That that's all. That which I'm fine with, but. I mean, you know, when he wants to talk about video games, he talks about only Need for Speed, which I'm sort of fine with once or twice, but, you know, when you just talk about Need for Speed, it, it wouldn't be fun if I talked to him about No Man's Sky all day now, would he? He wouldn't be fine with that. I actually tried to get him, you know, to, like, change things up a little bit, but he just didn't want to. <laughs> it is Need for Speed. Jump again, I'm, you know, hey, play what you want, but... Just make sure you're not nagging other people about it all day long. Uh, it happens. It happens. He was still he's still a cool guy there. Okay, let's see. I haven't actually found anything interesting here yet. Hello, drone. I don't. Is this full again? We're full. No, we're not full. Uh, nip nip buds can go away. Uh, you know what happened is I didn't... Oh, yeah, I did bring the freighter here because I jumped with it. I was actually about to say, you know, I didn't bring the freighter here, so I can't actually transfer those to the storage. Geknip is... Uh, no, we don't We don't really need it. I don't think I'm going to need it. I have not found... I can't believe I haven't found anything yet. Exosuit. Yeah, these are all exosuit ones. Hypnotic eyes. I believe there's actually room for hypnotic eyes, though. Yeah, there is. Okay, this is kind of a big room, a big area. No. Okay, first one. The the turrets don't care, like at all. Fire at will. I'm actually getting the sentinel sign when the turrets aggro. Which is kind of nice. Tells you if you've aggroed something. Oh my god, what's with the thick fog here? Specifically here. Can't see a thing. Yeah, let me actually recharge this as well. Make sure to bring a lot of iron batteries if you're here. Of course, you can always just hop on from a healing unit to a healing unit, but... Uh, ugh, that's way too slow. I guess if you're just starting off and you don't really want to invest into iron batteries, yeah, sure. Oh, nope. Hey, it didn't detect me. That was interesting. I thought it would. It is now. Hello, fire. Thank you. I would try the pulse spitter, but I know the scatter blaster works wonders currently, so I'm not willing to like risk it, even though they actually don't do that much damage, so maybe I should. I think I talked myself into it. Are you dead? Alright, so I just destroyed you, and yet you're still giving off light. Are you giving off light? No. Yeah, partial cargo manifest follows. Uh, okay, yeah, this is just the cargo manifest, of course. Because that's what it said it is. So I guess we can try the pulse spitter. Oh, I need to be careful of these explode explosives, though. Mine? Uh, is it going to one clip it? No, it's going to be two clips. So yeah, the scatter blaster is just faster. And more ammo efficient. Uh, hello, no. There it is. If that's where we're going, but first, I want to know where I've been. Dormant egg. Oh no. Fusion cores, sure. There's another log. I have. I can't believe I haven't found yet. Like one, just just a single blueprint. Like seriously. Uh, so personal data recording accessed for technician mm -hmm, that guy data stamp auto transcribing audio need to get down there uh, what are they doing with with it all trapped in here now at least there is enough I guess food air something okay wait a minute there's two of them here thank you There's a healing unit. I mean, there's not much of a point in activating them, uh, but I guess I save an ion battery once in a blue moon. Okay. 
There is nothing here to read. There is... Okay, no blueprints. Am I full? I am not full yet, but I will transfer these. I, we should have some storm crystals there as well. And yeah, I can transfer these. This, this is for sale. Okay, lovely. Lovely. Let's actually go ahead to the next area, I suppose. Oh, we did read that. Okay. I am really hopeful that the next area actually has a blueprint. That'll make me really happy. Like, really happy. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Alright. Oh, there's actually several... Hello. Oh, that one got stuck. Okay, that was weird. Oh, that's just going to annoy me with the noise. Oh, come on. Oh, the, the buzzing is so annoying. Come on, get out of there. Somehow. Let's try with the pulse spitter, maybe. No, I doubt it. No, there's like an invisible wall even before this, so it's not going to happen. Oh my god. Yeah, that's just going to annoy me. Eventually it might free itself, which I don't care. I just care about the noise stopping. Alright, let's see how we are going to... Hello. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Look at how quick it is with a scatter blaster. Unlike with the pulse spitter. Alright, so this is area number... Was it 9? Yeah, 9 out of 11, so we're actually very close to the end. A little bit longer than the other ones, but again, this one has security that I have to deal with. Actually, they all have something you have to deal with. Okay, I'm actually out of shields. Hello, nope. Don't want to be close to that. There's iron battery. Okay, that's, that's the way. I'm actually not going to go that way because I'm pretty sure... There it is. There's an, an alternative passage. A dead end, as one might say. I love dead ends because normally they have loot in them. This one has a corridor in it. Oh my god, my chair moved back. And some loot. Come on, you, you gotta give me a blueprint. Come on. Ah. Uh, The mystic is not meant to get blueprints, I suppose. Just transferring these so I can actually have a little bit of spare room in case we, uh, you know... So we don't run out of room, I don't want to miss a blueprint. Just in case, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, I do want to actually scan here. Anyway, that's where we're heading. Did I read that? I didn't read that, did I? Wait a minute, where is it? Yeah, I didn't read this. Why didn't I not read this? Just passed by it. Partial report follows from a medical bay log. Scout somebody uh, presented with unexplained leakage. Okay. Uh, outbreak continues to progress through the crew. Total cases 15%. And the other cases are what? Uh, the oxygen. Oh, sorry about that. The oxygen deprived ones. Seriously. Wait a minute. This is a new. No, I was here. Yeah, this is yeah, this is where I was. I'm glad that thing stopped at least. Got confused there for a second. I thought that was a new area, but I didn't open the gate. So you know, just a little bit of confusion there. Now I I know that it's here because we did see it a moment ago. So this should be the last area, which is the engineering bay, which is almost always the square, which I kind of like to be honest. All right, anything here? Anything worth mentioning? Come on, you gotta give me a blueprint. Come on, that's gonna make a lot of people happy. Well, mostly me, but hey, who knows? Maybe it'll make one of you happy as well. Oh yeah, coordinates. Uh, there's gonna actually I need to post teleport teleport coordinates. So if I do get a blueprint, I will uh, hopefully if I remember, I'll uh, use the teleport personal bio scan. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. If I do get any blueprints, I will give the coordinates for the specific area. But do keep in mind that it is in a different galaxy. I keep forgetting its name. What was it? El Capalos? I think it was El Capalos. Uh, that we were currently in. Because we've been in here for so long that I just don't remember anymore where, we're, where we are at. And uh, no, I have not gotten anything worth my time. There we go. 
Sorry, I'm not, I'm saying anything worth my time as a figure of speech, but I do like doing these a lot. I'd still rather get a blueprint blueprint though. Ever. I'm uh, gonna unlock this because why not? Gonna use this because why not again? Actually, did I? Yeah, I looted everything. Oh, d yeah, I looted these as well. Did I read that? Yep, did. Well, didn't read it, but uh, was there. Alright, what are we gonna make? Uh, I suppose we're gonna make a ball nun. A technology upgrade, of course. We don't need bulkheads anymore. <laughs> oh my god, it's a C class. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, let's go actually and uh, turn in the stuff. And we're basically going to be done. Or shall I do that tomorrow? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna end things off here. I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.